Throughout history, there's always been two parallel streams of healers, and there's the people who are dedicating their life to that, and they're developing the most precise skills that they can to deal with really complex and difficult situations. There's another um, thread, especially through European Western history of herbal medicine, there's the folk healer, the village healer, and that person is really important because they're the person that just has the herb, they go in their garden and they're just there and they just give you a bit of casual advice and give you some tea and they're empowering the people to look after themselves. And that's a really important role. They're the people who are most targeted during the witch hunts. And so that, that and, and after the witch hunts, that was like 1500s. Then we had around 1800s in Europe and around the 19, beginning of the 1900s in the States. Again, this intense persecution of the kind of village healers or in the states they weren't village healers they were like on the frontiers with all the wild west and all that happening and very very persecuted by the professional medical associations because they wanted to hold the control of, of healing it's a very lucrative business and i think that's the part that i would love to see come back in our culture we have professionals and that's amazing but the part where you just have someone you can go to that can sell you some tea or chat about herbs and it helps you to take power back. And to do that, I think it's not around knowing all the scientific detail of plants because that's a lot of information that's hard to, to really understand clearly. It's around knowing what your body type is and knowing the ways that your body needs nourishment and support throughout your life. So if you're someone who has a really overactive nervous system, just to know that these kinds of herbs, these nervines like chamomile and catnip and lemon balm, they're your friends. They're not a medicine. They're something that you should incorporate into your life, probably for the rest of your life. If you're someone who, you know, like my father builds up a lot of uric acid in his system, he gets gout, he gets gravel, like his kidneys don't function that well. He needs to have cleansing alternatives like nettle, like red clover as part of his life forever. And that's something I'd really love to see come back in Western herbal medicine. Thank you.